Do you want a hot date? They say the way to a man's heart's through his stomach. And they also say if you undo a man's trouser zip, his brain will fall out. With a different kind of soap. Do you like a little launch? This is the most fun I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Not too launchy. Crave a lot of fun. <laughs> my mum won't approve. And fancy a dating game to remember. Are you ready, baby? Then try making out with BBC Two tomorrow. Ooh, entertainment. The late weather news now on BBC Two from Suzanne Charlton. Hello. During Saturday we've seen a little bit of granular snow over parts of Britain and even in the south some freezing drizzle too. But as we head further south it's been rain and absolute bucketfuls of it that's been falling in the southwest of France in Biarritz over Friday and into Saturday. In fact torrential rainfall, some 65 millimetres of rain in that 24 hour period, that's getting on for some 3 inches of rain. That falling out of this curl of cloud here, further north, just to the north of the Alps and out towards the north of the Balkans, this same cloud belt was actually being rather more in the way of snow rather than rain. But as you can see, even the Mediterranean not immune, these plumes of cloud indicating where the showers have been, they'll continue to move their way eastwards through the remainder of the weekend. A further northwards, a lot more in the way of snow to come, if only in short bursts in parts of Scandinavia as weather systems move through. Remaining cold across all of northern Europe, as you can see here, temperatures in much of central and northern Europe staying well below freezing throughout the day on Sunday. And in Torup, that's in the southwest of Sweden, it has been bitterly cold during Saturday. Temperatures minus 25 degrees Celsius, that is, first thing in the morning and staying well below freezing all day. Over the coming few days, no great changes really, it will remain very cold. The very coldest of the weather pushing back eastwards through Moscow, but temperatures remaining sub-zero anywhere from the Balkans and the Alps to the Massif Central northwards. That's where the cold weather will be. So here we will see these weather systems bringing more regions of snow in across Scandinavia. Also down across the Mediterranean, these low pressure areas pushing the way in from the west, bringing more rain showers. And we could have a few problems, in fact, with this weather front here by about Wednesday, probably. And this will be slowing down as it comes up against the blocking high. As it moves in towards the southwest of Britain, we could well see that the cold winds undercut the rain and bring some snow problems for midweek. But we'll be keeping you up to date with that nearer that time. Just a few flakes of snow, really, in, uh, from the cloud in one or two places tonight. Clearer weather generally up here towards the northwest with a few patches of freezing fog. And another frosty, rather icy night in many areas, although around the coastal districts, temperatures probably staying about freezing, maybe one degree above. And still with that northeasterly wind blowing as well. And that will keep going over the southern half of the country, but across the north, Northern Ireland, Northern England and much of Scotland, a rather gentler breeze coming in more from the north by the end of Sunday. So that won't make it feel quite so jolly cold, whereas it will be a distinct wind chill that we have down across the far southwest and in many areas off the hills, temperatures just on the thermometer getting above the freezing mark. Plenty of cloud around, bringing all two light flurries of snow, but the brightest weather with the sunshine across these western areas during the day for Sunday. And that's how it looks. Well, after our bow fest this evening, and with the time at quarter past two, we should take a breather now and let the bright lights go down for a while. Thanks for staying with us. We've enjoyed your company. If you're up for the night, our colleagues at BBC Radio have plenty to keep you entertained. But this is BBC Two signing off. And on behalf of all the team here, may I wish you a warm and peaceful night. Good night. Sweet dreams. <laughs>